Mr. Trump's plans are not not grounded in conservative principles. The simple fact is that his proposal is unrealistic. It will cost hundreds of billions of dollars. It will violate people's civil liberties. It will create friction with our third largest trading partner that is not necessary. And I think he's wrong about this. If he was interested in a more comprehensive approach, he might want to read my book, Immigration Wars, which I published four years ago. All right, Jeb taking a big jab at Donald Trump's immigration plan during his trip to the border today. Katrina Pearson says Jeb is wrong, but Kathy Taylor says Jeb is right. Kathy Taylor, start with Jeb Bush. Why is he right? Well, for a start, can you give me a brief idea of what Jeb Bush's plan is, Kathy? Absolutely, but you know, Donald Trump has a decidedly unconservative approach to this. I mean, he wants to throw money at it and, in his words, to Porter, as he really likes to say, fire everyone. And that's uh, not a realistic policy Hold at all. Hold on a second, Kathy. I can say in three lines exactly what Donald Trump's plan is. Can you tell me precisely what is Jeb Bush's plan very quickly? Absolutely. He has a six-point plan focused on uh, E-Verify and Border Patrol. But it, more importantly, it focuses on rule of law and realistic solutions. You can't be a businessman and throw money at this problem and defy the Constitution. It just won't work. All right, Katrina. Uh, Trump says, one, build a wall. Two, illegals have to go back. Three, end automatic citizenship. I can express that in three lines, and that makes it very attractive to many invest I'm sorry, investors, voters. <laughs> Well, you're absolutely right, Stu. And here's the thing. He is speaking the language of the American people. This six-point plan that Jeb Bush put out says nothing about putting Americans and their families first. In fact, it doesn't even address the sanctuary city situation. He has come out and said he supports birthright citizenship when that is probably the largest magnet for illegals to come into this country in the first place. But Katrina, Donald Trump's plan is right. Katrina, deporting everyone is exactly what President Obama is doing. He's the largest deporter of any president in the history of the United States. We're, but even still, that's just a part of his plan, which is, by the way, rule of law. Since you mention it, we are supposed to be deporting people that we find in this country illegally, and we haven't been. Donald Trump is just saying, hey, look, we have laws currently on the books we're not following, folks. It's time to get back to the way it's supposed to be and put the United States citizens and legal residents first. Katrina, would you agree that Donald Trump's plan is harsh and very difficult to implement? Would you agree with that? I would agree that it is difficult to implement, but we have to start somewhere. And the reason why this plan is resonating above all else is because it is simply putting Americans and their children first. We finally have somebody out there saying, hey, we've got to stop. We are living in madness right now. We have an economic situation where we're running on fumes. We have terrorism out of control. And no one is putting America first, and Mr. Trump is doing just that. Kathy, would you agree that it is very difficult to express directly and quickly Jeb Bush's immigration plan? Absolutely not. Jeb Bush has put out his plan in six easy points. It's actually far more detailed than Donald Trump's over and over again. It just makes no sense to say that somebody who wants to defy the 14th Amendment in the Constitution, who wants to throw money that we don't have as a government or as a country, and who wants to get rid of everybody here, makes sense. Jeb's Ka policy is quite clear. Kathy, Katrina, this debate is not going to end today. It's going to go on for an awfully long time. Ladies, thanks very much for joining us. We appreciate it. Great to be here. In the middle of this market mess, is this any time to be talking tax hikes? Mike Huckabee, Governor Huckabee, says those politicians need to take a hike themselves. He's next.